They say this investigation and attention has been overwhelming, and they wanted to clarify what they say is misinformation floating around. We got to get tisk tisked. No, this is propaganda. The things that are being said are 100 percent not true. There's not drugs involved. Or what we don't know, the identity and location of the suspect, the location of the knife or any clothing that was worn by the suspect. There's not some weird love triangle. Investigators build a picture of the areas of interest and the relationships these four had with each other and our community. We still believe there's more information to be gathered, which will continue creating a window through which we view this case. We all want to understand why this happened.